Okay, Pastor wants me to talk about um, wedding planning. As we know, wedding, the wedding is an event. Wedding is an event. It's it's a ceremony to celebrate your union, to celebrate your taking your vows. Um, it affords you the opportunity to take your vows in front of um, a wide number, you know, a lot of people, your families, your friends. And it's also a celebration, brings people together. It's fun. You meet lots of people and it's, it's one of the highlights of your of your married life so the wedding is is very important but as everyone says there's a difference between a wedding and a marriage and if it comes if it, if it comes to comparison if you want to compare a wedding and a marriage it's like com, com, it's like comparing a, ma, a mouse and an elephant the mouse being a wed, being the wedding because the wedding is nothing the wedding is the beginning you know, the Bible says better is the end of a matter than its beginning. That's the way I see the wedding. The wedding is just the beginning. It is nothing compared to your marriage. Your marriage is the real thing. It is what you should concentrate on. It is it is what you should you should um focus on. However, in saying that, the wedding is also very important. As I said, it's the highlight of your marriage. And many people would remember your wedding. They remember something about your wedding. Oh, they remember how I was at their wedding. When they see you, many, many days, oh, I was at your wedding. So many people would remember your wedding. So it is a, it's an event and you want, it to, everybody, you want your wedding to go well. It's very important for your wedding to go well. So um, it's, it's, it is very, very, very important. However, the preparation for the wedding is is even much more is, is is much more critical now what make as christians what makes the wedding important is the fact that it's on that day that you stand before god and make a promise to god and to your spouse that you you, you have come this is the person you've chosen to live your life with you will be faithful to this person you will take care of this person you will stand by this person. You would be with this person until death. So it is a very important ceremony as far as I'm concerned, where God is concerned. Because you would have many days you would need to pull on that. And there's so many decisions you would make in life. There's so many things that would come up, come up in your life that would hinge on this decision you have made. This is the reason why, of course, you've done the, the, the course on divorce. This is the reason why you can't wake up in the morning and decide, I don't like this person's face anymore. I, it, I think I want to go to China and leave this person. You, won't, you, you will not be able to do that easily. Why? Because on a specified day, you stood up, dressed up, went somewhere with um, this person you have vowed. And you stood before God, represented as your, the priest. And you stood before your parents, and your families and your friends. And you said, this is the person I will live with. So it is a very important ceremony where God is concerned. It's a very important ceremony. And you want God to be present at your wedding. You want God to be present at your wedding. This thing how related to the couple that Jesus attended their wedding in Cana of Galilee. It's for you to know that it's, it's a very, very, very important ceremony, your wedding. So you want God to attend your wedding. That is one of the reasons why you need to pray. You need to pray. You want God's presence there. You want God's presence there. So that's you take your vows. The Bible says a threefold cord is not easily broken. So it is you, your wife, and Christ in that relationship. That's why in the Christian circles, you're not married until you do your white wedding. If you like, do your court wedding, do your traditional wedding, they'll tell you in the village, oh, you're married, you're married, you're married, you can go and do whatever. No, no, no. You don't do anything until you have stood before God and told God, this is the person I'm going to marry. I have, and I do. I will marry this person. So wedding is very, 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 very important where God is concerned. And the most important thing is you want God's presence there. It doesn't matter whoever else comes. I'm not saying people shouldn't come. Of course, we want all our friends and family there. But God is the most important guest. God is the most important guest. You want God at your wedding. This is one of the first things you should pray. Father, we want you at the wedding. We want you to to be with us as we as we take these vows because you make those those you know you know when you you make a vow 
you're calling on a higher deity. I hope you know, you know, you, I'm sure you've done the marriage covenant. You're calling on a higher deity. Every covenant that is made, whether it is Christian, whether it's devilish, you call on a higher deity and say, I have decided I'm going to do this. If I don't do it, this is what. And the reason why the deity is there is to enforce, to enforce that that thing happens. So your, your marriage is, is that important? Is that important? It's a day you are making those invocations to say, this is what I am going to do. And God's presence there is so important because he is the one who will be the enforcer of that covenant. The enforcer of that covenant. That is why in, in Malachi, God says, I hate divorce. You broken faith with the wife of your youth. When you when you come to wed, you 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 agree before God. You take a vow, make an agreement before God. It comes this a covenant. God is the enforcer of that covenant, and God will bring repercussions if you default. So, um, wedding is, is is very important. Now, we all know Jesus said, "Which man wants to build a tower or a house or whatever?" And doesn't sit down first and say, can I finish this thing I have planned to do? So there is no wedding without planning. Absolutely no wedding without planning. I'm sure you've done your bit of planning, but it is very, very important. You sit down, you ask yourself, what do we what do we want for our wedding? Do we want it to be a big wedding? Do we want it to be a small wedding? It's, it's, it's up to you. Don't feel under pressure to please people. When it comes to the wedding, I, 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 I personally would usually advise, do what you want to do. It comes, for me, it, it, it's, it's once in a lifetime. Some people have it twice or three times, their choice. But it, it is really once. So do what you what you want to do. The truth is, if, if, you, if, you, if you have planned properly your relationship goals and things, you would have a long time to plan for your wedding depending on your circumstance. In, in in the West here, people plan for two years. I met someone who had booked her wedding for, I think, two and a half years time, and they were already planning. So you find out that people who have that kind of time would usually plan better and would usually have exactly what they want because they would have the time to work, save up money. If they want, let's say they want a specific type of flower that's expensive, they can say, oh, I'm going to do 10 extra shifts within the next six months and get this paid for. I'm going to do um, 20 extra shifts in the next one year and get the exact limo I want paid for. So they're able to, you see people who are average Joes, but able to have an exotic ceremony because they've planned it ahead. They know how much they need and they're able to work towards it. If you don't have the luxury of that time, then work within your budget, work within your means. What is obtainable within my means? Um, there are always um, concessions you can make. You can say, um, Okay, I, I, I'd usually want roses, but if I can't afford roses, then let me get artificial flowers that will be as that will look as close as possible to the roses I want, and they probably will be cheaper. Look for the, you, you shop around, say, okay, let me check here, let me check there, and check this other place. You can get what you want at a cheaper rate if you know what to do and if you know the right people. So it's to lie to the right people, shop around, um, and do things like that. Don't spend too much time on things that are not important. There are things that are very, very important, um, like your rings. Someone told me this when we were getting married. Your rings are very important because these are one of the only things you will take away after the wedding. Every other thing, by the end of that day, the decoration will come down, the cake will be eaten, dismantled, um, the tables, everything will be cleared, the food will disappear into nothingness. But you see your ring, this this is my original wedding ring. So this, you see your ring, your ring is one of the things you will take home, you take away, and you would have, probably have for a long, long, long time. So it's, it's one of those things that if you can get a good one, get a good one. That's not say, that is also doesn't mean if um, for some reason you're unable to get the type you want, you cannot change it in the future. You can't change it in the future. At some point, you can still get another another set, go and have it blessed by your pastor, and change them. So there are not also things that you 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 can, that can be changed. But what I'm trying to say is some things are more important than others. So we have a scale of preference. You know, right? This is very important. This is very important. Things are important. Are things you can't do without, like your dress like um the venue you know there's some things that are very very important those things there'll be no wedding without them but there's some things that can, 
don't need to be i mean you can negotiate on you can you, you know say if they're there fine they're not there uh, all well and good like oh i want a green carpet in front of the the church or i want um pink and white petals those things if you can get them great if you can't get them the wedding will still go on whether they are green carpet or pink petals or whatever the wedding will still go on and it will still be fine so um have a scale of preference have a plan your budget is so 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 important it is key so before your wedding have a sit down how much do we want to spend it's not how much do we have to spend it's how much do we want to spend because you can have you can have access you may not even have you may not even have a person you can have access maybe your parents or whatever you can have access to an, an infinite amount of money but how much do you want to spend so you want to spend money that is within reason as i said at the end of that day it's just one day event it's not a weekend event some people have weekend events still so celebrities mm -hmm. so it's a one day event after that day everything's going down we're going home we're going home so um how much do we want to spend? We want to spend two million, we want to spend five million, we want to spend five hundred thousand. It depends on how much you want to spend. That's what would determine what you will do. So if you decide, oh, I um we want to spend five hundred thousand, then you can't have a four hundred thousand naira dress because that will leave only hundred thousand left, and you haven't paid for food, you haven't paid for venue, you haven't done other things. So work within your budget. Very important. Work within your budget. Believe me when I say you will have an anticlimax after the wedding. You will have an you you'll be like, is that all? Is this all the reason why I've been running around? Is it over? Is it really really over? Do you I mean you feel like oh. so because of that, you have to spend wisely, plan wisely. Very very important. I made a few notes that um, I want to make sure that we um, that we cover okay so we've talked about different wedding skills for, for some people they, they get a, an event planner if you get an event planner great because you just sit down with him one afternoon talk through your plans and the person is able to execute them and lace with you and you don't have much things going on but if you want to plan your wedding yourself still great just make sure you talk with people who've had who've done this before or people who are involved with weddings they'll always give you um ideas or this is where you get this this is where you get that or oh, call this person i can call this person for you i can get this for you it's um, always good for you to to liaise with people so there's so many things you need to choose you choose your venue you choose your cards make sure you have them all done on time um the other very i'll just quickly go through a list of few things that um you need to do your, your program always have a program have a program booklet very important it will help you know where you're up to and where you're at so have a program um, clothes very big big thing get you all the clothes ready bridesmaids bridegroom all the walks um make sure your, the marriage registration is done you know you know what the ins and outs of it so if it's a priest who's arranging it you ask about it certificates are we going to get it that day are we going to get it the day after is when is it going to be ready and things like that is very very important you're going to need your marriage certi certificate for the rest of your life everything you do especially for the woman because you change your name so everything you do marriage certificate everything you do your job to get a job to get professional exams everything marriage certificate so it's very very important and make sure you keep it well don't laminate it don't laminate it just keep it well so once you get it get a nice big envelope put it into the envelope keep it very safe keep it away from moisture um, or anything that can damage it you can put it into a what into a like a, a waterproof seal um slip what do you call it envelope envelope kind of thing um so put it into a, in the waterproof like thing like one of those book things little pouches you put documents inside so look for some some and, and put your marriage certificate immediately after very very important um make sure music is organized the priest on a room for the priest and um, photographs very very important that's another thing you take away after the wedding and um, cake flowers car hiring um souvenirs very important of course you know food people will talk about food forever so make sure the food is as tight as you can as you can make it make sure there's no matter what happens at the wedding some people won't eat no matter what happens at the wedding you need to pray hard meat will finish or salad will finish 
or somebody didn't eat salad, someone didn't have meat or something like that. Don't break your head over it. it uh, you, you can only do it. You know, some people say you can't satisfy everyone, but you can do your best. With the planning, with planning, you um, you're able to remove many of the problems. You know, you can have, but um, some people still say they didn't eat. Um, don't forget your families. Don't forget your families um, where they will stay. Make sure all that is organized. Always have someone to help you. So it's really for the lady. Always have someone with you to help you. Always have someone who is because you might be thinking, you know, in a in a in a, in a, it, in a you may have a tunnel vision. So you might have things you're specifically thinking about, and it can make you not to think in a very divergent way. You know, the broad picture. So, but if you have someone with you, the person can always think, oh, we've not done this. Oh, this is also important, and that is always also important. So, um, always have someone who you like this with to know exactly what you are doing and where you are up to. Um, contingency plan. Put a little bit of money away for contingency. Things that pop up, you know, last minute. Oh, the photographer needs transfer money. Oh, um, this other thing came up and um, we need to pay for this. We need to pay for that and things like that. So always have a little money. You can have, maybe she's one of your brothers. Always has, you know, have something, some contingency money. Um, make sure you have a moderator, a chairman. All these things are very important for organization. Um, on your wedding day and at the reception, make sure you have somebody who is the go-to person. Someone who is ask her, like I got my your sister. Go with everybody ask her. So people don't keep coming up to you where you're seated to ask you, where is the toilet room? Where is the toothpick? People won't come up to the high table to be asking you all those plenty, plenty questions. There is always someone to ask. So have a a point person on explain your reception have a point person who people can always ask what is going on um rising above disappointment i mean with prayers if you prayer proof everything and um you plan properly hopefully there shouldn't be any disappointment but because we work with human beings and human beings are fallible sometimes things may not go to plan what I'm going to say is rise above any, any disappointment of the day. Anything that would crop up, that would attempt to steal your joy on that day, cast it out, resist it, shame it, refuse it. Decide when you wake up that morning, it's my wedding day, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to dance. I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to look beautiful decide it that is in your mind and just have it like pasted on your heart refuse to be flustered refuse to be anxious refuse to be upset no matter what happens so you see one somebody somebody who is going to struggle for food ignore it don't start saying hey go on go on go on, go on catch that person see what that person is doing see what that person is doing tell that person to leave that place okay. leave that leave 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 that day leave other people to sort out those issues Concentrate on looking beautiful, being happy, being content, dancing, you know, things like that. Let other people handle stuff. So make up your mind to be happy. Make up your mind to be content. Make up your mind. Because as I said, it's one day. It will go very quickly. Very, very quickly. In fact, most of it will be a blur in your mind. So it's important to have the right attitude to that day. If not, so many people remember their marriage and then they remember how, how anxious they were they remember how upset something made them they remember the disappointment of you know the, maybe the cake woman coming a bit late or the cake woman not coming out on time when she was called or the chairman making a mistake in what he wanted to say or the pastor was supposed to get the wings of this person and he went to this other person you know people would zero in their minds on the things that didn't go well and forget all the things that went well and all you know so don't concentrate on anything that will go wrong. Concentrate on the things that on what God has done and what God is going to do in your lives. So zero your mind. Other tip I'm going to leave is don't forget to tighten all your money gifts. Very, very important. Money gifts, make sure that you make a record of everyone who's giving you something. Calculate your type nicely. Honor and thanks. So you want to send thank you messages to everyone who's giving you a gift. So that means you're going to have to have a record you can have a record of 
everyone who attended your wedding if possible so you can buy what you, you know like a, a, a wedding book which you can you can keep you can put it out in church so that everyone who comes in can sign it um, and that gives you an idea of people who came because it's not everyone you're going to be able to see you can also have someone take it around during the reception and have people sign it we had one at our wedding um, and that gives gives you a record or an idea of the people who came and if you if you know if it's a book who had that has name and numbers then it will help you later on to be able to send texts to them thank you for coming thank you for your gift very important make sure that you know your parents and your parents in law um, are honored on your wedding day are recognized and honored on your wedding day it's very important because it's a proud day for them too don't forget it is a proud day for your parents to make sure that they are recognized and they are honored it is very important um and then as i said dealing with the anticlimax and the aftershock you know in the morning after you go like oh god is it over oh was that it you know don't worry about it um, make sure that everyone is comfortable um the journey back support people in the way you can support yourselves and then um, take take out time to rest afterwards take out time to rest that's why you know if you go on a honeymoon if you're not going on a honeymoon have some just you time you know time where you just rest no you know, don't 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 just try to wash around. It might be a bit difficult because you have to be start thinking of, oh, I'm coming back. And you want to get everything ready. But make sure that you put, take out a bit of time. For the, it's always good for the couple to take out a bit of time to rest, to bond as a couple, um, sort out things. You know, there might be bills to pay after the wedding and things like that. Sort them out, support each other. Thank your parents, thank your guests. And then... Um, Things like that is it's 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 very very rewarding, very rewarding. He's saying that I wish you pulled the best, the best. Oh, actually, this this course is about the wedding. It, it's a traditional. I mean, I'd say the same thing. Plan it, but the thing about the traditional, it's more of your parents. It's more of the girls' parents who plan it, isn't it? It's more it's more it's more it's more of your parents who are, who plan it and organize it um well, that's my understanding so you don't have too much too much input to but i'd say the same thing applies make sure you have your dresses ready on time make sure that um there is no friction there's no friction so as pastor said you know when it comes to anything in laws let the individual deal with their own parents you would um speak to your dad make sure that no there'll be no friction anywhere um, you know, there'll be no conflict of interest of any form. Uh -huh. So those are the only things that are a bit worrisome about the traditional ball. It, it, it's, it's basically the same thing. I think the white one is more important anyway. Downsize. See, see, see what I'll say. What I'll say is, uh, let's pay for the important things first. It, 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 depend, it depends on what, what these other things are. Now, the very important things which you must pay for first, venue, because we must, we must have the venue the, the wedding somewhere. The clothes, people must wear something that. Must wear something that. And then um, the food, because people must eat. Because for me, these things are like the very most important things. Uh, these are the most important things. Um, every other thing can be navigated. Mm -hmm. Every other thing can be navigated. When it comes to money, you know, I'm one of those people who say, as long as a problem can be solved with money, it's not a problem. Because money can come from anywhere. You find out in your, when it comes to this wedding thing, um, it, it brings favor. So lots of people would, you'll find when you get back to Nigeria, lots of people will say, oh, how can I contribute? How can I help? So um, you see that many people would help. But things that are not important downsize downsize those things for for for, in, for instance something like decoration decoration can cost a lot of money but it's for me it's redundant you you can find someone who will do a good job for half of the same amount someone else will ask for so it's to shop around see is there anybody who can do this thing at a cheaper price if you have um, a good Christian community around the church, there are many people in church who, who will do things for you free. There's so many things you're paying for that. There are people you know, they can do it for you free. 
So they are, they, 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 those are ways to get about it. But if it is the very important things you need the money for, money can be called for now, you know. You can call for this money. It's a need. It's, it is important. It's something that needs to be done. You call it forth and it will come. But if it is the things that are not important, like um, uh, my HB girls are insisting that they, that they want, they must, that I must pay for all their scarves, or um, my, my aunties are insisting that um, I have to put them all up in, in, in an expensive hotel. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh -huh. So those are not the things you would you would bend over backwards to want to meet. No. But the things that are important that need to be done, like the food, like the venue, like things that, you know, if they're not done, the wedding won't be okay. Those things, believe God for that money to come. Excellent. All right. That's it for tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and look at the other, other master classes on relationship that I have. And very soon I'm going to have a master class on uh, success coming soon. So you make sure you hit me up. Subscribe to my channel so you get a notification whenever a new class is uploaded. God bless you.